Hey guys, it's Brooke and I'm here to talk about NaNoWriMo. So I was pretty much convinced that I wasn't gonna do NaNoWriMo. I was just like, I don't know, this is too much work. I don't, not that I don't have enough time, but I just don't have the energy. And I have two like half done projects on the go. And I was like, am I really gonna start a third project? Like I, it seems like irresponsible, <laughs> but if you've been on my channel before, you know that I am a big proponent of starting new projects. So that's that's what I'm gonna do. I've never said no to starting a new project, so I don't know why I would start now. So for this video, we're going to be prepping for NaNoWriMo together. It is Preptober, of course. So I'm just gonna go through my process. I have not thought of this story, like at all. I have a story idea in mind. It's something that kind of like came to me either while I was watching a movie or like listening to someone tell a story. I don't even remember where the idea came from, but I remember one day I was just like, oh my God, I have to add this to my like list of story ideas that I want to write. <sighs> like, what am I going to call it? I need to come up with a project name. I think I have, I might've started writing like the first page or something or just like I know I wrote a little synopsis I, I can't even find let me tell you why I changed my mind real inspiration today I was watching Sarah Lebrat's video how to write a novel in 30 days you guys all know Sarah Lebrat if you're on my channel you know who that is so I was like you know what <laughs> I, I should do this so I'm just trying to find I have this like file on google drive yeah, I have a spy on Google Drive, Book Ideas, it is called. So it's contemporary romance, big surprise, shocking. Everybody's shocked. Where the heck was I coming up with this? Why did I come up with this? Okay, here's the thing. I was, for some reason I was thinking about New Year's resolutions. And then I was like, I wanna write a book that starts on like New Year's or like around New Year's and it's like New Year's resolutions. And then it like stems from there. And I want each chapter like be titled as a resolution. You know what I mean? That's the concept. <laughs> I um, I literally wrote like two sentences to just like summarize the book idea to remind myself of what it is. So I wrote the two sentences and then underneath it, I just wrote, I f***ing love this. I was really full of myself that day. I just think it, it's set up really perfect because the false belief is she needs to have this like perfect life to be happy and like she's gotta like wake up every morning and do yoga and do this and do that and do all these things. And it's like, she thinks she's gonna be happy after that, but it's not really true, you know what I mean? But anyways, that's the concept. That's kind of like what we're working with. I literally don't have anything planned out. So this is going to be, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, so this is how I'm gonna plan down around though. I made this little like, planner. So I guess it could technically be like a Preptober planner. So here's the thing. This isn't for like planning my story. It's just to plan kind of like how, how I'm going to accomplish my task. Right? So anyways, I just made this on like Canva. I made my little planner and I'm just going to like go through this. I'll kind of give you an overview of what I'm going to plan out in terms of non story content. So not planning out my novel. I'm just planning out my goals and my plan for like how I'm going to accomplish this task of writing 50,000 words, if that makes sense. So the first, page is goals so obviously your main goal is to write whatever like if you're doing NaNoWriMo it's 50,000 if you're a nano rebel or whatever it's not that many but so that's the main goal and then there's I put like three sub goals and like do I want to write a specific number of words per day do I want to do a specific number of chapters per day do I want to write at like a specific time each day so it's like how am I going to accomplish that main goal. I can even say like, okay, complete act one, complete act two, complete act three, whatever. So then for the other goals, like I have a little like other goals section, which would just be you want to like write every day. Like doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's like your word goal or whatever, you just want to write every day. Maybe you want to hit your 16, 67 every day or whatever it is. For me, like I would love to read, oh my God, that's really hard to say. I would love to read one of the writing craft books that I have because I have so many and I have not read them all and I think it would just be good. So then this next one is just a cute little like vision board thing. I'm obsessed with like printing stuff out. I bought a new printer and I, I just love it. So this is like a Pinterest board, but come to life. It's like a, it's like a tangible Pinterest board, you know? I did that. This is the only page I think that's really related to the actual story. It's like a story summary just to kind of like remind yourself of like what you're doing. And I thought it was really cute. So it's just like working title, genre, like you're fine word count that you want author name which is yourself <laughs> myself and then like i just put published date in here just because i think it's cute just like to to remind myself like that's the end goal a story pitch and then a synopsis which like obviously i'm not really gonna fill out right now i'll probably fill that out a bit later my thing with synopses is that i really like writing them when i'm kind of when i'm planning the story and i'm stuck in terms of like what's gonna happen 
overall like it's for me it's a great way to summarize the story to kind of give your story direction you're like oh well this is how a synopsis is written like what how can i like describe my story like that and i think it can help develop your story so anyways i did this adorable like rewards brainstorm page because i feel like it's so important to reward yourself for like even just the little things you wrote the first day in anorimo you wrote every day for a week like whatever you know you got to ten thousand words you got to twenty five thousand words so reward yourself even for me like just like starbucks it's funny though because like starbucks isn't a reward because i get it all the time anyways but something maybe i'll go to like a new coffee shop there's a new coffee shop that opened up post and i really want to try it okay and then just like a calendar just to plan word count and then i made like planning pages so they just look like this they're very cute uh if i do say so myself so anyways just to kind of plan like again how i'm going to complete my goal so anyways i'm just showing you this so you guys know what i'm filling out during these time lapses so you're not just like what is she doing so there's a bunch of pages for that there's one for every week and then a habit tracker to track how much you're writing when you're writing where you're writing all that good stuff you can track all of this in nano but sometimes i just like like on the nano website but sometimes i just like to have a new what a new no like a physical paper and then this is the word count tracker i freaking love this idea so i'm like a kid right like i want to like color these in like i think it's so cute like i'll like color them or like highlight them or something so just like counts up in increments of 1667 because like that's your daily word count approximately and then the 50,000 one is so cute it has like sparkles oh my god that was so loud and then this page is just for me i win to like either like plan out what I'm going to do or like just like say how I reward myself. So basically this is just to make a plan of how I'm going to complete my goal of 50,000. I guess I need to declare this on now. Oh my god there's just like so much stuff happening. I literally hate myself for starting a new project like what literally what am I doing? Whatever. I don't even care. I don't care. This makes me so happy like I I'm honestly just like so happy. Oh my gosh okay you guys want to see something? So I got this plant. It's been a while, like probably at least a month, probably more. I kept it alive. I think he might need some water right now, but like they're not supposed to get too much water because it's not good for them. Look at him. Look how cute he is. And he just like, my desk is white and my bookshelves are white and this is white. And I just like, I love it. I love, I love it. It makes me so happy. <laughs> yeah. He's my, he's my buddy. He's my NaNoWriMo buddy. Anyways. No, not. Oh, what is that? Is that, is that a bug? No. Is it? What the hell is that? Oh, it's on me. It disappeared. I don't know where it went. Okay. I don't know. And I got this cute. Okay. Don't even, like, don't hate me, but look how cute this is. I got this little watering thing. Oh, you something. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did you Did you hear that crap? I don't know if you heard that or not. I'm gonna have to watch this back. So, okay, so my desk, my desktop is like seven feet long. It's very long. So it has two drawers on each side to hold it up, but it also needs support in the middle. There's a beam thing. Like, what the hell is that called? Like a pole, there's like a metal pole. And I just crunched my toe into it. Okay, we're fine. Anyway, so this plant, you're not supposed, you have to water it kind of like at the base because you're not supposed to get water on the leaves. So I got this little spray guy so that I could water it properly because I didn't want it to die. And I got it at Chapters because I love Chapters. So anyways, so now I can water him and water doesn't get all over the leaves, like just like a tiny bit, but like, I don't know if he needs water. I need to like, I should like mark down the days when I water this thing. I don't know, like it looks like it's like not dying, right? Like it's looked the same since I bought it, I swear. I think he's thriving. I'm not, but he is. This is so chaotic. I'm gonna watch this back and I'm just gonna be like, what is even happening right now? So that's the NaNoWriMo planner that I just like made for myself. And then this I bought from Chapters. We love Chapters. I was informed by my lovely writing buddy that this was at Chapters. So it is literally gorgeous and I can't wait to use it. <laughs> so 
I don't know if I'm going to use it for this one or if I'm going to use it for like a future novel. I'm not really sure. This is probably like a good opportunity to use this though. Like I feel like it's the time, you know? So anyways, it's called the Ultimate Writer's Journal. It's really cute. I feel like some of it's definitely geared towards like self-publishing, but that's fine. So there's like author information. Why are you writing this book? Anyways, it seems a little bit over the top for like what I need for Nano, but um, should we declare our project on Nano? Is that something we should do? I'm gonna have to take this thing off the stand. Okay, let's declare, let's declare the project on Nano. Okay, I haven't logged into NanoRimo in so long. Like I don't even know. I hope my password is saved. I'm trying to even remember. Oh my God, why do I have 45 notifications? I just realized I never started screen recording. Okay, we've made it. So what do I have to do here? I haven't, uh, I haven't done this in so long. If we go to projects, I feel like I can do it from there. I don't know what any of this stuff is. I have so much stuff on here. Let's announce new project. Oh, I didn't even think of a name. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna call it NYE. Anybody who's watched this video is gonna know what it's, what? It stands for i don't even know like what this project status means what is the project status prepping like dr drafting i don't know drafted no in progress in progress i don't know like what am i supposed to what am i supposed to say i don't know what type of project is this novel associate with nanorama event nanorama 2022 on to my goal oh yeah it sets it at fifty thousand. oh what is the genre romance let's just we'll just save that okay starts november 2022 wow so exciting I should definitely put a, I should like add a cover to it, but I won't right now. Okay, so I think I'm gonna fill a little bit of this out. I can get my computer out of here, I guess. Can I? I don't know. So I guess I, I don't know like if I should tilt this camera down. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not even a YouTuber anymore. I never was. I genuinely just like don't even know how to film anymore because I, I just haven't done it in so long, but we will just, you guys can see enough. So my main goal obviously is gonna be 50,000 words. So I'm just gonna write, write 50,000. That was not the correct amount of zeros. Write 50,000 words in project NYE. So I don't know what my like sub goals are gonna be. Like we can talk about those a little bit. So how do I wanna break this up? Like how many chapters do I think, do I think the novel is gonna be? I'm not really sure probably about 25. So should I make like four sub goals and be like, do like five chapter sub goals so I can celebrate, you know, chapters or should I just be like 10, 25, 30 are my sub goals? Or like, you know, do I want to write a specific number of chapters per like week? So if there's, <laughs> why did I say that? So weird. If there's four weeks, like how many chapters do I have to write per week? Question. I don't know. I can't do the math in my head right now. So we'll just leave that for now. We'll leave that for now. But my other goals, I do want to read a writing craft book. I swear I just bought one and I can't even remember. I'll have to pick a short one because I have like a really long one that I just, I don't, I'm not going to be able to get through. I would love to write every day, write every day in November. Like no matter how little, I would love to write every day in November. I did not cross that T. Why not? What else do I want to do? I'd like to try a new coffee shop. It's not really writing related, but... I could write there. I probably won't. I'll probably just get coffee, but a new coffee shop and then one more. Maybe we'll come back to that. I definitely need to do some like actual plotting and outlining for this book, but that's definitely going to be in another video. This is just kind of like some fun whatever and we'll do more of this, but I just want to give you a little idea. I'm going to do this another time. I'll just like print out some photos probably while I'm doing plotting. I don't really have a story summary yet. Oh, rewards brainstorm. We love this. I'll do a few of these. So I love bookmarks. So I think one of my rewards, maybe my 25K. This, I feel like this will motivate me, except for the fact that it's like, I'm an adult. If I want something, I can just go get it. I don't have to wait till I write 25,000 words. You know what I mean? Does anybody else have that problem? I don't have any like delay gratification at all. Um, okay, so I love pens. I love these pens and I don't really need any more of them. I could get like, if I get to, if I finish this draft, I could buy a pack of red pens of these for editing. A fun reward, but I feel like it's not a reward in and of itself. Like I think I need to like have something paired with it, but I would love if I complete my 50K, I would love to like print this out. I guess I could just do it here, but I kind of want to get it like something bound, printed and bound at like Costco or something. Costco, staples. There should be like a 10,000 reward too. Like I like, I always think about like food and coffee and stuff and I'm like, 
I just get that anyways. I just order takeout and drink coffee, so it's not really it's not really a good reward to be quite honest. Maybe like brunch though. Maybe like because I don't always get like fancy takeout. Maybe I should get okay. So there's this place and at 10k. That's so funny because that's literally more expensive than my bookmark reward. It's not tangible. Okay. Okay, how about this? How about this? At 50k, celebratory brunch and print and bind draft one at 50k. That's a possibility. I'm trying to think of what to do for 10k. I would say buy myself a writing craft book, but like, I have too many. I could buy another plant. That would be cute. Oh my god, trying to keep two alive. Maybe, maybe the new bookmark should be for 10k then. That's cute. That's cute. Okay, so we'll do a new bookmark for 10k. And then for 25k, I think maybe a new plant. Those are gonna be my like milestone like rewards, I think. I just don't know if food is gonna be a good enough motivator for the last one. Cause like I can just go for brunch whenever. <laughs> so basically on this one, oops, on this calendar is where I'm going to plan out what my month is gonna look like. So I know that I'm gonna write more on like Saturdays and Sundays. And if there are any stat holidays in here, the 11th is a stat holiday for sure. That might be it. I know that on weekends, I'm gonna write more than I would on a weekday. And there are, there are days that I only work half days. So I'll plan all of that out. Yeah, that's kind of it for now. I'm not gonna plan that out right now because I think this video is long enough. Stay tuned for another video where I'm actually gonna do some outlining for my story because it is preptober after all i'm gonna try to get as extensive of an outline as i can in the next like couple weeks like what is the date today it's like october it's october 12th so i mean i don't have that much time i don't even i don't know how much time i have not not enough but anyways i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you enjoyed the chaos that was this video because it, it was just everywhere i don't even know what i was doing great great reintroduction to youtube so i hope you enjoyed being here i did and I would love to hear in the comments about what you guys are working on for Preptober, what you guys are gonna be doing for Nano. And I'm just so excited to be back and making a video because I haven't seen you guys in a really long time. And if you're new to my channel, I would love if you could subscribe and uh, yeah. So I will hopefully see you in the next video. Bye. It's October 12th. So, so <laughs> it's a tangible print. If, why do I look? like this so anyway <laughs> do some drop oh my god did i just drop my desk i'm gonna try and get as an extent i'm gonna try and get as extensive of an out oh my god that's so hard to say i'm gonna try to get as extensive of an outline 